Remember the Anzacs, those brave men and women from the Australia and New Zealand Army Corps that paid the ultimate price so that we may enjoy the freedom that we have today. Clive Robertson Caldwell was born in Lewisham, Sydney on the 28th of July 1911. Before World War II, he trained for his civil pilot's licence whilst a member of the Royal Aero Club. He joined the RAAF at the beginning of the war in 1939 and was commissioned as a pilot officer in 1940. On the 29th of August 1941, Clive Caldwell was attacked by two BF-109s, northwest of City Barani. Caldwell's P-40 Tomahawk was riddled with more than 100 rounds of 7.9mm slugs plus five 20mm cannon strikes which punctured a tyre and rendered the flaps inoperative. In the first attack, Caldwell suffered bullet wounds to the back, left shoulder and the leg. In the next pass, one shot slammed through the canopy causing splinters which wounded him with perspex in the face and shrapnel in the neck. Two cannon shells also punched their way through the rear fuselage just behind him and the starboard wing was badly damaged as well. Despite damage to both himself and the aircraft, Corbell turned on his attackers and sent down one of the BF-109s in flames. Corbell's most successful day was the 5th of December 1941 when he shot down five JU-87s in a single engagement. Due to his aggression, exceptional combat skills and determination to strafe ground targets, Corwell soon acquired the nickname Killer, which he apparently was not particularly proud of. The name, however, stuck and was commonly used in referring to Corwell, who invariably landed back at his base each time with almost no ammunition left. Let's do it again.